Hi, my name is Richard Pennycook and welcome to Export Kit. In this example, I will be demonstrating how to create an email form handler directly in Photoshop using Lightning Storm. Now, this is particularly for PHP or WordPress. This is where it'll work the best, but uh, you could kind of get away with it with HTML depending on how your actual server is structured. So what we're going to take a look at is in this example, this is our previous form example, and you can see some of our tutorials, our previous tutorials online to note how to create an actual email form but I'm just gonna go through this quickly what we have is we have a form here and we're posting to an actual PHP file called email form inside our form and you can see here from the design we have various elements that we're targeting so you can see we have an input text and the name is contact name we have another for contact email and contact message etc now what this will do is that this will send these variables to the actual script that we've denoted in our form so this actual folder here will create a form element in our HTML output. Uh, well, this is actually PHP, but the HTML rendering. What we're going to create secondly is we're going to create a couple of pages so that we can handle our email form directly in our PSD. So if you see some of our other tutorials as well, you'll note how to create a page. Uh, technically, a page only really needs our tag along with page and the name of the page that you're actually denoting. So what we have here is we have our index page and let's actually just hide the other page and after our index page we also have our actual email form so I'm just gonna go through uh, both of these elements really quickly so this is our actual form this is generally on all pages and for our index page we have this information and then secondly we have our actual email form so our email form you'll see that we have one single layer this is a text layer and we actually have a code tag applied what we're doing if we actually select it you'll see that inside of the text layer we have code that we're using to render within this actual area so the area that we've drawn the text this is where whatever elements we're rendering they'll render within there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at the actual script that we've input within this code area now I do not suggest that you use Photoshop as a text or a code editor it is not designed for that Photoshop is designed for photos so what you can do is you can open up your text editor of choice uh, in this case we're using sublime so within our actual text layer this is the code that we have now you'll see that this is raw PHP code and what we're doing is we're looking for the variables that sent to the server based on the actual Photoshop names so if we go back to Photoshop you'll see that what we have is we have our contact name uh, let's actually just look at it quick our contact name our contact email and contact message so if we take a look at our script once again you'll see that we're looking for these similar variables so this is a simple way that you can reference information when you're sending data back and forth to the server. I understand that some of you uh, might be designers so you might not understand this fully but basically the purpose of this file is that we're only going to check is the message less than 10 characters and if it is we're going to output message too short basically otherwise we're going to send the mail and we're basically basically going to say email sent thank you. So without understanding the full concept of this code that's what we're going to do in general. We're going to check the email message that we're sending and we're going to say whether or not there's an error in the email or if it's okay to go. So if we actually take a look again at the code layer, what we can do is we can just simply cut and paste code directly inside. We, again, I do not suggest you use Photoshop to edit your text code directly. So what we can do right after this is we can simply export this and we can take a look at the output to see how our form will render afterwards. So if we go over to our exports panel and we're going to select PHP for this, what we want to do is we want to ensure, let's turn on layer effects and relative positions, uh, but we want to ensure that page tags is selected simply because we're using pages. So we can go ahead and we can export this and through the magic of video uh, I'm just going to actually speed it up until the export is complete. So once our export is complete, uh, we can go ahead and we can take a look at the output files themselves. Now if we go to our FTML folder, you'll see that we have our PHP folder as well as our files created based on our actual PSD design. So we have our email form that we're both sending the form information to and we added a uh, custom PHP script and we also have our default uh, form handler page. So let's just go ahead and let's load this in the browser. Now again, you must use a local host or a web host when you're loading PHP, so we can just go ahead and do that. Okay, so for the form, technically what we're doing is we're checking if the message length is less than 10, which this word message is, and when we submit, error, the message is too short, and so let's go ahead and let's just uh, ensure that it will work correctly. 
and it worked email sent thank you so this is a simple way that we can create an actual email form handler directly in our PSD